So from what you've seen, not just your own videos, but other people's, what do you see as one of the secrets to something going viral? Or is there nothing? It's just timing, it's just the audience's palette. It, well, there's, you know, sometimes it's just one thing that's really shareable. Like, you have to you look at it and be like, is this shareable? And is it not just shareable to your cool friends? Is it shareable to someone who doesn't care about YouTube or the community or the comedy scene? It's just like, I think this is funny or I think this is interesting and cool. There's also things I think are successful is if people find their kind of the video that they do, whether it's like pranks or it's uh you know a guy that i know uh jack douglas does a thing called your grammar sucks and he just takes people's youtube comments and comments on the grammar and makes sketches around it and that doesn't it's literally just him talking about it but people can come every week and know they're going to get that um i think big picture wise that's uh you know that's a good that's a good formula for success is having the thing that you do uh that that you're known for that people can expect every single week and not just targeting it, tar excuse me, targeting it to another YouTuber, targeting to someone that works in an office or the Abs oil changes. Or I, I, the, I mean, the world, I mean, think about, let's just, I'll, well, you think about, well, think about the United States. The United States, you know, the co take the cosmopolitan areas and then from that take the kind of the, the, the niche like YouTube funny thing. That's a very small part of the United States. There's a whole big part of the United States. People are like, oh, how, how does it? How does a movie like that, a Kevin James movie, no offense Kevin James, I know you're watching this, uh, how, does that, how does that do so well? Why do people keep making it? Because the world is not just, you know, smug people in LA, you know? It's not just people in New York or San Francisco. The United States is a huge place and there is a market, there is a market for everything, but there's a market for things that you may not think are cool. There's a whole, there's a whole, there's a whole big world out there that, that likes things that you don't like. And if you could tap into that, Great. I wish I could. I'm not, I, I'm not too cool for anything. I want everyone to love my stuff. That's why I do dating and sexy relationship stuff because everyone's kind of been there and everyone's interested in that. Everyone likes attractive women too, I think.